Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and thank you for being here. Uh, so we are here for that time of the month. Uh, we are doing uh, you and the other person. Now this will be for all Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus signs. And if you're not sure what those signs are, check the description box below. Uh, guys, plug in your data. If you're not sure of your exact time of birth, plug in 12 noon, and that'll get you going. It'll pop out your full astrological chart, and then you can check out those other signs and those other videos as you see fit and see if they resonate with you, okay? Um, now, this is a general read, so that goes without saying, and I hope it resonates with uh, most of you, if not uh, some of you, okay? Uh, so that being said, um, uh, do keep that in mind. Energies do transcend, so what I might be talking about now might be someone's past, uh, might be someone's now, even might be someone's future, okay? So just note that. If you are interested in a personal read, go to theguidedintuitive.com and we'll get you hooked up over there, okay? If you're interested in a Facebook page, check out uh, The Guided Intuitive. Uh, there's a button that says visit group and uh, it'll pose a couple questions and let you slide right on you, okay? All right, so um, you can check out our store, but without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started and see what is in store for Cancer in the month of February as it relates to you and the other person, okay? Let's see what's in store for you here. So, a uh, couple more shuffles and let's uh, go for it. Okay, Cancer, what do we have for you here? So, Cancer, we've got the Queen of Cups. This could very much, well, I mean, this could, you know, just as well be you over here. Uh, this is uh, Cups, right? So, it is a water energy. Um, it is about emotion, right? Uh, and it's looking at this very special cup this woman is. And this is about the energy. So, just note that, uh, that you know, this is more about uh, you know, it's, it's gender neutral, but this person is actually looking at their beautiful ornate cup, which is so very special. And this being the queen, this is, um, all about having an influence, right? This is about being calm, being very intuitive and being very compassionate. Um, and this is a woman that is, is wondering, how, you know, she wants to be very careful who she gives her emotions to. And that's kind of the biggest thing. Because she sees that as something extremely, um, extremely, extremely uh, special. And she wants that other person who gets that, her cup of love, uh, to see that as something special. So I think that's really great. Okay, what else? Uh, then we get the Queen of Wands, okay? Now, the Queen is also about influence. The Wands are about exuberance and vibrancy. You could either be taking that on or uh, someone else in your inner in your energy uh, but it's very spiritual too right um, the queens still have influence but it's all about being very exuberant being very vibrant very spiritual uh, and uh, you know just it, it, it's still about the wands right so the wands are still about you know focusing on that Aries Leo Sagittarius type of uh, energy the passion desires uh, you know ideas and creativity you know as it relates to her love life now, she's having to balance things out a little bit more, okay, it looks like, because um, this, what, what you're looking for right now, Cancer, is just balancing of your emotions and, um, you know, having that, that temperance, right? Uh, having a balance and having a purpose, um, especially relating to love, it's going to be very, very big. Uh, so that's very important for you. So you want a balancing of emotions relating to love. You just don't want to be the one giving it. You also want to be able the one to receive expression back. All right. You've been working really hard on a current relationship and, and you know, you're stopping for a moment. Um, this is the seven of pentacles. Uh, this could have to do with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo or you're taking this energy on, it might relate to work or, or your love life uh, as well. Uh, but since we're, in, um, you know, kind of talking about you and the other person, it could be you're looking at your investment, seeing how you want to move on. The sevens uh, talk about having faith, right? So it's, it is about having faith, but having a vision and wanting to know that you're going to profit from this investment if you put in, you know, put your hard work in, especially into a relationship. Um, and it's also having a vision for a relationship, right? And how you want that. You've been very uh, emotionally uh, disappointed in the past, okay? This is the Three of Swords, and you have, it's kind of a heartbreak card, right? It is talking about communication, so perhaps there's some communication that comes in. It's going to talk about some sort of grief, heartbreak, or maybe there's some sort of separation you're going through right now that is causing you a lot of heartbreak and love. Oh, I'm sorry, Cancer. Um, you know, it's almost as if, um, you know, there is... 
Um, it comes to the five of swords and the fives are about adversity. Maybe you've had some adversity in terms of a relationship. Uh, the swords about conflict. Maybe there's some sort of tension relating to a, uh, you know, kind of a, uh, your love life a little bit. Uh, but here's the beauty of it. You get a cup of love that's coming through here. And this cup of love is the unity. This is a blessed uh, union that is here. Someone is offering their cup to you and you're offering their cup to them. This is nice after this, okay? Um, you know, it's been a struggle, but what you're really looking for is uh, a sharing and a union. Um, and this is a two. It's about duality, right? It's really about partnership and attraction. Um, you know, and with that, you know, maybe that you've offered each other a cup of love, um, and I don't know, Cancer, was there, did something have to come to an end because of someone's sneaky behavior? And maybe things, you know, weren't, you know, kind of as they were, um, but you do get the lover's card. So it's almost as if that maybe, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, your mindset of some sort, maybe you had to get rid of a mindset of some sort and put something to rest, or maybe you had to exit out of a relationship that just wasn't, um, you know, you know, balanced, so to speak. Maybe you felt that someone was a little sneaky and there were, there were too many things that were hidden, Okay. And, and what comes after that is the lover's card, right? So interesting, you get the lover's card and you get the two of cups. So, um, you know, this could be you had to have an ending and then you kind of, uh, you know, it had a break and it looks like it comes up once again, which is quite interesting. Um, and through this process, I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, uh, could be, or a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, this is six. This is about growth. Maybe there's some sort of growth in this relationship after it was put to an end. Probably something came to an end and then, you know, some sort of reflection going within on the, you know, because you got the moon card and, and then you've got the lover's card right after that. And then it's about, hey, I want the balancing of scales here. Okay. Uh, and that's the balancing of scales here. Again, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, uh, Gemini, you know, Libra or Aquarius. Uh, well, excuse me, or, or, or Libra, I should say. Uh, because the balancing of the scale there. So it's really Cap Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Someone carrying that energy or you taking that on, but having fairness. What about this other person? This person is focused on their coin right now, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, they have influence. They are focused on, uh, you know, the the. Uh, this is actually motherly, down-to-earth type energy. Uh, so Cancer, this could be you or could be, you know, that other person, you know, there as well. Um, so uh, again, uh, uh, sex is neutral here. Um, you know, in the past, um, you, you or they kind of left, they, they kind of felt left out. This is actually the five of pentacles and the fives are all about, this is about having adversity, uh, insecurity, maybe worry, uh, about their financial status, I think of some sort, uh, quite frankly, uh, uh or, you know, or just, uh, stability in this relationship. Okay. Um, uh, this is also talking about the king of wands and the kings are about authority. When I see wands, this is about a, a visionary and entrepreneur, um, so this could be you or that other person that is exuding that king of wands type authority, which is quite beautiful. Uh, and the wands are again passion, desires, creativity, and energy. They're receiving a lot of recognition. So maybe they're getting a lot of attention cancer. So they've got a lot of um, people looking at them. Um, and this is a seven. Uh, and um, so it could be that they've got perhaps a lot of suitors, perhaps. Um, however, they seem to be looking at um, a nine of pentacles. Um, this is, uh, almost a 10 of pentacles, but nines are about fruition and this is about gratitude and luxury. So they probably could be sitting very pretty financially, you know, um, you know, as it is there right now, but they're definitely looking for their happy ever after. Look at, they've got a 10 of cups. This is beautiful. Now it could be, uh, I'm not sure. Um, but cancer, I don't know if they're dealing with a Capricorn or if they're taking on that energy. Uh, or, you know, whatever the case may be, but, um, this is someone happy family life, kind of that type of thing. And the tens are all about completion. This is about manifest. This is about, you know, just really coming to a full completion of wealth and established wealth, uh, and feeling very happy, you know, within the family there. Um, you know, in the past, um, they were really focused on a lot of worry and, and that type of thing. So I think they've gone through a transition, you know, within that. Now they've become the emperor in their life. And, um, and, and, you know, it's, it's interesting as uh, the emperor is about structure and stability. So they're trying to get that stability in their life. And that's super key for them. They're taking charge and they're very, 
they're very uh, straightforward in terms of their communication. So you're going to know if it's, you know, if it's that type of person that's taking that on. Um, I don't know if they have a family or not, so just note that, but it, it could be that they are searching for emotional fulfillment. Uh, and um, I don't know if it has to do if they currently have a Capricorn in their life, um, but there's a lot of also wands uh, energy in here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you've got Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Yeah, and you still got, you know, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, which is, uh, you know, kind of the sword type energy within here. But mostly pentacles and, and wands here. But they're taking on the emperor and they want fair and just. Okay, so they're just doing what is fair and just in the process. And what's going to happen in this situation is going to be fair and just. Uh, so that's quite interesting here. We've got the, the justice card does talk about that. So it could be the truth will actually come out, re, you know, relating to this other person. Um, and then they also get the king of swords and the kings are going to get about authority, but it's also about clear thinking and being intellectual. And that kind of carries on like, like the emperor type of, you know, uh, situation too. Wow. How interesting. A lot of big players here. It's interesting. We've got to see how this works out, but I think the truth is going to come out as it relates to this person, um, Cancer, and you have a better idea. Uh, so, wow, how interesting. So let's go ahead and pull on what it is that you would like to say to this person and then what this other person would like to say to you. So it looks, I mean, quite frankly, um, you know, it's kind of like uh, they are, um, you know, they're focused, uh, they're focused on their pentacle. There's no doubt about it. And, and the happy family life, they want emotional fulfillment. Uh, so I think it's quite beautiful. Um, and, uh, looks like they're, they're, they're no longer, uh, you know, up at night kind of worrying about things. Um, they're really focused on putting structure and intellect and making decisions in their life. And then also, st um, standing by their truth. Okay. Which is very, very key. All right. Very, very key. So what is it that you would like to say, Gem um, Gemini to this person? And what would this other person like to say to you? So why did I say Gemini? I meant cancer. That's weird. Cancer, are you dealing with the Gemini? <laughs> all right, guys, note your comments. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. That's really, really weird. Very, very weird. Okay. All right. Here it goes. Okay. Okay. What you'd like to say to them, Cancer, is rather than just criticize me, can you tell me what you want in a more positive way? Interesting. Maybe they're just not communicating, right, and speaking each other's language. Um... And this person, all you want is you don't want to be criticized, but you still want to, uh, you know, uh, you still want uh, to give them what, you know, uh, you, you want them to give you what you want, okay? Uh, and you want to give them what they want, but you, you don't want to be criticized throughout that process. I think that's very, very key. Uh, so very interesting. So rather than just criticize me, can you tell me what you want in a more positive way? So has that been going on? Guys, uh, just note your comments. That's interesting. Okay. Now, what is it that they want to say to you? Fear not. I'm not on a tear. I just want to say one simple thing. Oh, uh, so it's not that it's not that you're trying to 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 create. This person is not looking to criticize you in any way, shape, or form. It looks like um, they're not on a rampage to 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 bring you down. They just are trying to convey one particular thought, and I think it might be coming through as a criticism. So uh, I think that's kind of the key there, um, you know, for you guys. So that might be what's coming through. Um, so what else can really help in the process? I'm going to pull another card on this too. I know what I said was hurtful. I truly didn't mean it and I would do anything to take it back. Uh, so perhaps cancer, was there something that you said that was hurtful that maybe came across that way that perhaps maybe hurt that person's feelings? Um, could very much well be the case, but this is what's coming up in some of the cards and I'll find out what this other person wants to say. You are so upset. I probably don't fully understand my impact on you. Please tell me I want to understand. Uh, well, this person really wants to understand how you've been feeling in this process. Um, and, and uh, you know, just, you know, in terms of, of how you communicate, I think that's really important. Um, and they see that you're upset and you are frustrated. And this is saying is that they probably just don't fully understand their impact that they've had on you. And they, and they want to understand what is it that was going on? What did they do that triggered that? So it could very much well be the case, guys. Okay. So note your comments below. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going to help you in this process. Uh, what could really help you both kind of breach that gap? Honesty. 
So Cancer, being very honest with what it is that you want and speaking your truth. And uh, you can always speak your truth, even though you can't always expect it from others. Uh, but you can always, uh, you know, speak your truth. So being honest is going to help in this, okay? It's going to help, all right? And what else is going to help? With a little humor. Maybe throw in a little bit of humor, okay? Uh, throwing in a little bit of the lighter side so you can have a good conversation and it doesn't get so uh, so deep, okay? That's going to help, all right? So, uh, you know, the laughing Buddha, okay? We need that in there. And what else was going to help you in the process? Fear. So rid of any fear. Seek love. Focus on love so that we're rid of your fear and realize that um, that fear is, is you know, that um, realize that your, your, your resolve is being tested through fear. And this is asking you to live in the energy of love and that will help. What, how can this other person communicate with you better? With them, it's just to focus on happiness. That when they're happy, that they're, they're, they're um, definitely on their right path. So uh, as long as they're happy, that, that gives their signal to know that they're on the right path. Also, imagination. Um, that their creativity is going to nourish every aspect of your mind. Um, and embrace and nourish their creativity. So they might be someone that's very creative um, as well. Uh, and they use your imagination in terms of their work and what they do. And they're also focused on seeing balance and harmony in their world. And, um, and they want to, uh, you know, others to have that balance. But, you know, and, and this is saying is that I bring the state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So that's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. What I'm going to do is, I'm, because it's a Chinese New Year cancer, I am going to pull a... Uh, a uh, Heart, an actual fortune cookie for you and I don't even know what's in it but because to celebrate the Chinese New Year and the spring festival that jumps out uh, well actually begins on February 5th um, this will be the year of uh, I think I already mentioned the year of the pig um, which actually constitutes talks about wealth uh, so this is uh, your Chinese New Year message here for you okay what this is saying is oh my gosh it's so small uh, dabble in something new and different the results will bring will be most satisfactory so what is it new and different that you need to focus on, okay? It could be a way of uh, dealing in terms of a relationship, right? Or a new way of, um, but dabble in something that's new and different because the results will be most satisfactory, okay? There you have it. I look forward to seeing you in the second half of February, guys. Until then, namaste.